All right, so I'm gonna be talking about how to use the rendering drawing templates to create your own rendered images, uh, such as these product images or the help images in the globals. Um, but they can be used for anything you want. Um, it's just to, just creates a JPEG. Um, so it's, it's really up to you for what you wanna use the images for. Um, but yeah, so to get started, I'm gonna create a new room there we go. Um, and you'll notice that there's two rendering templates. One is with walls and one is without walls. Um, and that's essentially the biggest difference between them. Um, one has walls to make the, the product look like it's in a room, and the other has no walls, um, which will just make it look like it's floating in space. Um, so let's start with no walls. Um, I'll open that. And while it's initializing, I'll talk about the other difference between the, them besides the walls. Um, the one without walls actually has, you can see them right here, um, it has cameras. Um, these are actually custom views that you can select to get a nice shot of um, the different types of cabinets. Um, like you have a base or an upper, and some can be double wide. Um, and so you can select between them to get just the right view for what size of, of cabinet you're, you're using. Um, I'll show you how to switch between them in a bit. Uh, but first we want to set up this template. Um, so unfortunately not all of the settings required to get these um, good images are saved in the drawings. Um, some are saved in the, the rendering template um, Excel file or you know it's an AutoCAD setting um, and so there might have to be some a couple different changes um, before you're ready to um, create the images um, but it's really just a, a couple things um, so first thing is the scale um, basically what units the drawing is for uh, whether it's for imperial or metric because um, it can it can be used for both um, they they start out in Imperial, um, but I'm going to be using a metric library, so I want to scale these to metric. And to do that, you just select Control A, and then you type SC for scale, enter. And then after you hit enter, it'll want you to select a base point. Um, so I'm just going to do the origin for this, 0, 0, click enter. Now if I was scaling from Imperial to metric like I am now, I'll type 25.4. But if we were to go from metric to imperial, you'll want to do essentially 1 divided by 25.4 and go in the opposite direction. But since we can't enter in fractions, we'll have to use a calculator to get the, the decimal, which would be 0 0.03937 approximately. Um, so that's for going from metric to imperial. But like I said earlier, we're going from imperial to metric, so I'll do 25.4, enter. So that scaled everything. Um, and then we'll also want to type in units and change this from inches to millimeters. And that's all for the, the units. Um, so now everything is set up for metric. All right, and now one more thing to do. Um, we'll just type materials and this coarse textured one, click edit and turn off finish bumps. Um, so this will just make the floor smooth. Um, without it, the floor will be really bumpy and it'll look quite weird. Um, so I think we're ready to, to draw on a cabinet now. Um, so I'll just draw this to 0 comma 0. Um, for these camera views to work properly, um, you'll want the product to be in the origin. So I'll do 0 comma 0. Click OK. And then once that draws, um, I'll go ahead and then select one of these camera views by going into here, base single wide, and there we go. Um, 
now this is a bit cut off but it's not actually going to be cut off in the when we go to render um, this is just because the the camera view is a different size than the than the viewport um, but the rendering uses the camera view so it, it'll be the the right size um, one thing to note that um, is that whenever you change a view you select one of these views it turns off the environment lighting I'm not entirely sure why but it does so if you use one of these custom made views um, just type in env to get this render environment uh, menu you'll just click on the on switch so there's that um, I like the rotation of 100 this controls the, the rotation of the lighting um, and I think 100 works well it's what was used for these the product images um, so now that that is on we are good to go to render and there we go we have our first rendering image on its way now this will take um, depending on your computer it might take anywhere from I don't know one minute to four minutes it, it really just depends on the computer you have um, but we can just actually before we close it here if you want to save it you'll click the save button and then select where to save it to um, pretty easy um, so yeah that's how to use this rendering template um, a few more things though just as extra information to change the materials um, you can click this change materials button um, and select which material materials are used for which AutoCAD layer um, to get these product images I used the the maple Norwegian for the sides and then the the finished faces I used Merbao um, which you can find in the Macrolum feature woods um, and yeah and then the other rendering template I already have set up in room 2 here it is um, so here's the one with walls and it's essentially the same except there's no custom views and it has walls um, so just to see what it looks like we'll just do a rendered images a rendered image um, and there we go so you can obviously move closer if you want but um, you can see that this one has walls so it's pretty cool um, and that should be everything for how to set up the rendering templates.